Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here in CME Group with your morning market stir for Wednesday, October 1st. September is behind us. The markets finished mixed yesterday. We had the E-mini S&P down 4, 1965 and a half. The low of the session was 1960 and a half, so no new relative lows there anyways. Dow futures down 15, 16,965. The Nasdaq was actually positive, up 9.5 at 4045. The dollar index was the story of the day, up 33 at 8605, pushing the euro down 65 points, 126.35. Bonds backed up a bit, 137.29, down 13 as the market stabilized when it came to equities. Crude oil was the story with that surge in the dollar, it lost at $3.40 to 9115. The low was 90.86 to keep an eye on. Gold also got hit, down $7 at 1211 and a half. The low of the session was 1204, so flirting with that 1200 support level from a psychological standpoint. So after another day of volatility and another mixed day, where do the markets stand here on this Wednesday morning? Well, we're down about two right now in the E-mini S&P at 1963. The S&P on a monthly basis was down 1.5%, and on the quarter, it was up 0.6%. So put that in perspective. Dow futures are down 15 at 16,950, and the Nasdaq futures are down 8 at 4036. The dollar's up another 10, 86.15, pushing the euro currency right down to the 126 level, 126.01, down 39. Bonds are firmer, getting back losses from yesterday, up 12 at 138.08. This is an important pivot, 3.20 in the 30-year and 2.48 in the 10-year note. So we're back below that 2.5% threshold. Crude oil is getting back 40 cents at 91.60, and gold sliding a bit, down $3 at 12.08. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're negative once again, down two points in the E-mini S&P, down 15 in the Dow, and down eight in the NASDAQ. I will see you early Thursday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.